year. It's crunch time at the Capitol as the Senate and House have just days left to get their bills on the floor for a vote. We'll go straight to Malik Rankin at the Capitol as bills are getting turned out by the dozen. Now lawmakers in the Senate and the House are fast tracking their bills in order to make the crossover deadline. Typically bills with new amendments are given an extra day before the final vote so lawmakers can read up on them. But with that deadline fast approaching, they're voting on amendments and the bill all in the same day. The speed limit bill that lost to a tie in the House on Wednesday could have been up for reintroduction. I spoke with Representative Jake Bloom who said he couldn't sway enough votes. So for any of you looking to go 80 or 85 miles per hour legally on the interstate, that won't be happening this session. Several of the bills we track were up for vote in the Senate. A bill to offer insurance coverage for infertility treatments failed in the House. The bill carrier says the costs are just too high, but it wasn't before some emotional debate. Thus, possibly giving these medically impacted women a miracle beyond, beyond belief and letting them become the mother they wish to be. If only one state has passed this, we haven't even had the opportunity to see how this could play out. So I think that we are better off um, voting red and letting a little more time pass before we move forward on this. The final vote was 1135. The House also voted on a bill that specified how state government and tribal government tax alcohol and tobacco. The bill would prevent customers from being charged twice on the tax, once by tribal government, once by state. The bill passed unanimously with a 45-0 vote. Reporting at the Capitol, I'm Malik Rankin. Crossover is one week from today. In continuing coverage now 